Yeah, Sherry Shavon, a waiver sent to Ingham County, uh, Ingham County officials. Uh, Williams says that personal hardships this year were the reasons why she didn't file the forms and reports. Most of them were due last year. Williams calls it a mistake, but says someone should have told her. I did not know. I was not aware or sure of. And so being that once it was brought to my attention by your station, I've corrected that and rectified that. Rosalind Williams has been on the Lansing School District Board of Education for 10 months. Yet five campaign financing documents didn't make their way to the Ingham County Clerk until last Friday. Clerk Barb Byram sent a letter to Williams that morning about the issue. Williams says because she didn't have an actual campaign committee or related finances, she didn't think the forms applied to her. But Byram tells 6 News multiple notices were sent by mail and email, and there were even phone calls with county officials. After Williams submitted the forms, she also included a request to have the $1,800 in fines waived, citing personal hardships. In a letter sent back yesterday, Byram rejected the request, saying the majority of the committee's not compliance with campaign financing filing requirements occurred before the events mentioned in your letter, and the events did not coincide with the campaign filing deadline. They both agreed to a payment plan. So, can Williams still hold her office? Attorney Mark Brewer, who is an expert at election law, reviewed the situation with 6 News. He says the county clerk's job is to enforce election laws through fines. She doesn't have the power to take somebody out of office, but a court could do that if a citizen decided to file a lawsuit. As for Williams, she says she plans on continuing to help the community until a court says differently. It's the people who matter. They voted. So if they say that we're going to file this lawsuit, I have to accept it. When she was sworn in, Williams says she signed both an oath of office and an affidavit saying that all her campaign finance forms were submitted. Now, we have requested a copy of those forms from the district, but have yet to hear back. Sherry Siobhan, 